Hey guys, in this vlog, we're going to look at the top three advantages of using WordPress to build your website. This video is sponsored by InMotion Hosting and their Bold Grid WordPress plugin. It's a very powerful plugin. And people who know this channel know I've been an advocate of WordPress for many, many, many years. So I checked out InMotion Hosting, I checked out the Bold Grid plugin. It looks very powerful, very cool, something worth looking into, link below. Okay, let's check out the three advantages of using WordPress to build your website. Advantage number one, WordPress has a huge set of templates that you can leverage. I'm talking about the visual template, the visual component of your website. In WordPress world, templates are called themes and just so many out there, lots of free ones, lots of paid ones. Typically, the paid ones are more robust, they're cleaner, they come with support. The free ones, there's good ones out there, but it's a little bit more of a uh, tricky situation because some of those free ones could have some uh, nefarious code loaded into them, and the code may not be so clean, they may not be up to date with the latest version of WordPress. So if you are a small business owner or a WordPress professional, I advise to look at paid templates just so you have that one less headache to deal with. Built into Bold Grid, by the way, besides all the functionality that they provide, is a robust templating uh, system, or a set of themes rather, that include all kinds of different, uh, different types of businesses. The second reason that WordPress is a great choice to build your website with is that it has a huge set of plugins that you can leverage in your WordPress site. Now, a plugin is just it's like a mini application that you plug in into the big WordPress application, and these plugins provide extra functionality. You literally plug in extra functionality into your site. You could plug in an e-commerce system. You could plug in SEO tools, search engine optimization tools. You could plug in image manipulation tools, all kinds of different things. There's so many plugins out there to leverage. And instead of having to build a site from scratch, trying to add functionality from scratch, using the WordPress plugins only makes sense because it's just gonna save you a heck of a lot of time and you'll be able to get your website launched as quickly as possible. If you're a WordPress professional, a web designer, or a developer who is supporting clients who have content-rich sites, sites that have a lot of text and images, video, maybe audio, WordPress is just a natural choice because of the plugin architecture. So many plugins for you to leverage, and if you know a little PHP, you could actually build your own custom plugins and provide that in uh, your client's WordPress site. The final advantage of using WordPress to build a website is that it is a content management system. Nerds will call content management system a CMS. And the whole point of a content management system like WordPress is that it allows you to easily keep the content of the website up to date, it allows you to easily manage the content. And the reason you're able to do that is because of the plugins, because of the themes, because of the built-in editors that come in WordPress. So you can add new pages, edit pages, add images, add video, whatever you want. It's just so much easier to maintain a content-rich website with a tool like WordPress rather than building your sites from scratch the way we used to do it back in the early 90s and 2000s. So there you have it. Those are the three big advantages of using WordPress to build your website. Number one, you have a rich set of themes or templates you can leverage, the visual component of your site. See, a good thing about a theme is that, let's say you set up a site and you have a particular theme that you use. You, you could buy a theme, you modify it so it suits your particular site's requirements. And then let's say later on you decide you want to update the entire look of a site because design trends have changed and so forth. You can literally just plug in, drop in a new theme and boom, Bob's your uncle. You have a whole new modern look to your site rather than having to rebuild everything from scratch with a traditional website. The second advantage is you have a rich set of powerful plugins that you can leverage that adds extra capability to your WordPress site, like an e-commerce shop, like SEO tools, etc. 
And finally, just having a content management system like WordPress would allow you to keep the site up to date so much more easily. Back in the early 2000s, well, mid 2000s rather, I talked about the WordPress professional and I said that that was going to be a huge niche in web design and development. And all these years later, it's just growing. So many small businesses out there run on WordPress. And so there's a huge amount of opportunity for web designers, web developers who want to get into the freelance game, as an example, to become WordPress professionals, WordPress experts, understanding the plugins out there, understanding the themes that are out there, understanding the whole WordPress ecosystem. And you can leverage this to your benefit as a freelancer. Once again, I'd like to thank InMotion Hosting for sponsoring this. And when you get an InMotion Hosting account, they include the Bold Grid plugin for free, very powerful plugin that includes themes and functionality as well. And it's all included. I took a look at the InMotion back end control panel to see what they offered. And it's very powerful. All the tools that you could possibly need as a web designer or a WordPress professional. It looks very good. Again, let me just say, they approached me because they saw my videos. They saw that I was pro WordPress and they said, hey, Steph, check out our tools. You think our tools, you could recommend our tools in motion hosting and bold grid to your audience. And I took a look at what they do and it, it aligns perfectly with what I've been talking about for many, many years. So this uh, recommendation is based, it's not just happenstance. I didn't just all of a sudden become a WordPress guy. People know I've been a WordPress guy for years. And as evidence, all my websites have WordPress-based vlogs, killersites.com, killerphp.com, howtobuildwebsites.com, et cetera. Even Studio Web's blog is in WordPress, even though in other sites we had built our own content management system from scratch. But I found after doing that, it was just better to use WordPress because of all the tools that I just mentioned, the plugins and the themes, et cetera, the, arc, the ecosystem around the WordPress, around the WordPress uh, platform. All right, I hope you find this useful. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.